In many major cities, a large portion of the available housing stock could be over 50 or even 100 years old. It comes as no surprise, therefore, that some of these buildings might no longer perform as they were originally designed. And one of the most common issues is that dampness might be found internally. I'm Tim Clark, a director at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors, and in this video, I will be looking at the causes of internal dampness. You might already have a picture in your mind of a dilapidated, poorly maintained property that almost nobody would want to live in. But the reality is that dampness is an issue which can affect properties which look really well kept, and many owners might not even be aware that their property suffers from dampness until they come to sell. If it's undetectable by the people living in the house, this normally indicates that it isn't a big problem, but detecting hidden dampness can give an indication that work will be needed in the near future. In a nutshell, we consider dampness to be any form of water ingress within a property developing as a result of a failure of waterproofing to the external envelope or other failures such as plumbing leaks or gutters in disrepair. If you are suffering from frequent condensation within a property, this often signifies that you have hidden damp issues which need to be treated too. For well over 100 years, properties have been fitted with damp-proof courses, also known as DPCs, of varying varieties, including engineering bricks, slate, bitumen or polythene. Over time, and sometimes due to vibrations or perhaps poor workmanship, these can become damaged and stop working. If this is the case, the damp-proof course may need to be replaced, either with a chemical damp-proof course, which soaks into the bricks and mortar, or in some cases, a physical damp-proof course. Cutting into a wall to insert a new physical damp-proof course can be difficult and expensive, so the easier, lower-cost chemical alternative is more common. Although there is some discussion in the industry as to whether rising dampness is real, we find that some damp assessors or contractors place an over-reliance on treatments to overcome rising damp issues. In reality, these solutions are not appropriate in all instances, as borne out during a recent property inspection. When we collected the keys to a residential property, the agent cheerily told us that the damp issues had just been addressed and to expect the decorative condition of the house to be poor. What we found at this particular property was that a chemical damp-proof course had been injected to replace the old, damaged damp-proof course. In actuality, we found multiple other causes of dampness which had not been addressed. Over the years, properties may have been modified multiple times and inexpert workmanship or gradual degradation of components following building work can cause internal dampness to develop, which often looks to be rising dampness. For example, a former owner might have installed a new driveway, which has resulted in the external ground level rising up above the line of the damp-proof course. When this happens, it doesn't matter whether the damp-proof course is working or not, as brickwork above the damp-proof course will be saturated anyway. For similar reasons, if you or your neighbour props up items for storage against an external wall or perhaps installs raised planters or decking, a similar situation can arise. We often find dampness in properties which have been retrofitted with cavity wall insulation. If the mortar pointing between bricks on the outer walls is not well maintained, this can allow outer brickwork to become porous, which saturates cavity wall insulation and allows internal dampness to develop as the wall tries to dry out internally. This is very common, but is also very often overlooked by damp roofing contractors as could be seen on the house previously described. Sometimes we find the issue is as simple as an overflowing gutter discharging a large amount of water in a particular location. This can cause similar issues as those described above, but due to the concentration of water, the consequences can be even more extreme. Often there are multiple reasons why a property is suffering from dampness, and it often takes an expert eye to fully diagnose all causes, rather than simply jumping to conclusions. I have already described a couple of reasons behind water penetration, such as overflowing gutters, bridge DPCs, and damaged mortar pointing. Effectively, water penetration relates to water ingress as a result of failure other than the DPC. It isn't unusual for water to enter into a property as a result of a roof defect or a plumbing leak. This issue will be addressed in the second video on this topic. Absolutely. 
Building pathology is a core skill for building surveyors and our experienced team of surveyors are well versed in diagnosing the causes of dampness and setting out necessary remedial work. Our team can be contacted on 02381 550051 and look forward to helping you return your house to a warm, comfortable and most importantly, dry environment. Thank you.